Hi, I'm Bill the Piano Tuner. Welcome back. I hope you had a good summer. Now, what we're going to talk about today is regulating. We're going to start with the keys. Take a look down here and see the tools we'll be using today. These are keys, pliers, front rail bending tool, screwdriver, and a regular awl. Now, the first thing you got to do is decide whether you're going to rebush. If you do rebush, it's the first thing you do. Now, take a look down here at the key. First thing you do is check to see if the balance rail hole is too tight. You lift the key a quarter inch above where it rests and let it drop. If it goes all the way down, the balance rail hole's all right. If it hangs up like this, if you lift it and it doesn't come down right away, the hole's too tight. Take the key out, take the awl, put it in the hole, burnish it. Spin the awl and put a little bit of tension on. A little bit is better than too much. You put it back in the key on the keyframe. You test it. If it comes all the way down, the balance rail holds okay. Next thing you want to do is check the key bushings. Lift the key a quarter inch above the key, drop it. If the key comes all the way down and hits the bottom of the front rail punching here, the key bushings are alright. If it hangs up and it stops like there, pull the key out. You take the key easing pliers. Less is more. These are not for crushing wood. They're for just easing the bushing. Put the pliers in. Light tension. Squeeze. Slip it around, do the other side, light squeeze, do the balance rail hole, light squeeze, spin it around, do the other side, light squeeze, put it back in the keyframe, lift it a quarter inch above, drop it. If it goes all the way down to the front rail bushing here, punching, they're okay. Now that's what we'll cover today. Um, uh, oh, I forgot the the, the um, front rail punching pins. Now, if you look at the keys in the front, the white keys, you look at the space between the keys. If there's more space between the one white key on the other than the other side, what you do is you take the bending pliers, put them on the pin. If you want to move the key to the left, you bend to the left. If you want to move the to the right, you bend to the right. If you notice, it's got this little indentation. That's for doing the black keys. Now, on the black keys, you center them in the hole. Now, I want to show you one thing you might run into. If you have a customer who has very thick fingers, come on over here to the piano with me. And they're having trouble getting their fingers between the keys. What you can do is with this grouping here, you can bend this... this uh, C sharp a little bit toward the base and this D sharp a little bit toward the treble. And here we have the grouping of three. You can bring this F sharp a little bit toward the base and this A sharp a little bit toward the treble and it opens up the space. So, And that's what we're going to cover today. Have a good week. I'll see you next week. I'll be off to tune pianos. We'll be perfecting each note one key at a time. So long.